Previously on Next Level Chef. This season's Next Level Chef will walk away with a one-year mentorship and a quarter million dollars. Game on, time to play. I'm looking for the best dish. This is your first presentation of yourself. Let's hustle. This is the most intense food competition there is. My immunity pin's gonna go to Nuri. Tucker. Max. The person going home tonight is Carmelia. Wow. Tonight. We are not going down the floor tonight. No, chef. We need to get out of the basement. I don't trust a single piece of equipment in this kitchen besides this piece of equipment. We're coming up here. OK, see you never. If you ignore that advice, you're going straight to elimination. I'm scared of the elimination. I'm not ready to go home yet. Welcome. Let's go, guys. Line up. We're down one person. This just means we got to come back freaking swinging. Team Blaze is a little shaken, but not stirred. Wow. Look at you all. Do the blue aprons look a little more starched? Uh, no, your proper? teeth look a little smaller. Oh. oh. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now, some of your first issues left a lot to be desired. You let the chaos of that platform get the better of you. You're cooking for a chance at a one-year mentorship from the three of us and a prize of a quarter of a million dollars. So the question is, which one of you wants it the most? You all have to remember, if you're putting your heart and your soul into every dish that you create, you're going to see it in the result. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Wise words and heart and soul is at the center of today's challenge because you'll be preparing a dish from a country where they pride themselves on cooking with so much love, passion, and, of course, heat. Mexico. Mexican, Puerto Rican, we're all the same. Latinos are Latinos. I'm so excited. Now, listen, whatever you do, don't forget to bring the heat. Because there's nothing worse than a bland enchilada or a tasteless tostada. OK, Team Ramsey, thanks to Tucker. Earning best dish last time. We're cooking in that top-level kitchen. Head the elevator, and I'll meet you there in a minute. All of you, good luck. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, team. Oh, we are bringing it to yeah. today. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're bringing it today. Let's go! The middle kitchen was beautiful, but you know the top is the best of the best, and that's where Team Ramsey belongs. All right, Trailblazers, because we lost the elimination cook, it's time to shine in the basement. Head to the elevators. Let's go. See you in the blazement. The blazement. <laughs> that was good. We got this. No one's going home. Let's do it. Here we go, baby. Let's do it. Oh, Lord. There we go, see? Not so bad. Feel how dull these knives are? It's just gross. Oh, wow, these ovens look <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust a single piece of equipment in this kitchen besides this piece of equipment. What are you mashing that's this big? Team Arrington, April, I got to say, you got us to the middle level. With your win in elimination, keep that momentum up. Head to the elevator. Yes, we got we got Watch your head, Nuri. <laughs> Middle floor, keep me there. It's like a warm hug. It just feels good to be there. Go it, go it, go it. Go, good luck. All right, let's go, Team Blaze. Let's go, let's go. All right. Gather around, gather around right here. We're doing good. All right, down here, there's not a lot of things. Limited burners, wobbly pans. Ready to go? Yep. Cool. Chef. Ready. All right. Good luck, guys. Same to you, Chef. OK. Line up, line up, line up. What I want to see from my team today is confidence. I want to see who you are as individuals, okay? Yes, chef. Yes, yeah. chef. One, two, three. Team team Mary Mary Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
We're on the top. I want to stay here now. Yeah, me too. Okay, the two floors underneath, they want to be where you're standing yes, now. Yes, yes. Stay out of that elimination. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, line up, guys. The platform's coming. Let's go. Good luck to you all, yes? Go! Platform's there. Let's go. Let's go, guys. To each other. Because we're at the top level, I know that I need to grab something that's worthy of a top level grab. I see a gorgeous red snapper, and I was like, mine! Cilantro, Ten guys. seconds. Cheese, Here cheese, we go. cheese, cheese. It feels a little bit more high end, and I can bring those Mexican flavors, that freshness, that brightness that goes really well with seafood. Right Five, here, right here, right here. Four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Let's go. Platform's on the move. Go! Excuse me, chef. Think about your ingredients. Grab that protein first. Work around it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm grabbing the pineapple. I'm grabbing the chilies, the limes. Beautiful fish, mahi mahi. That's authentic Mexican cuisine. It's flavor, 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 baby. Five, four, Garlic, three, four, two, two, one. It's still here. Grab what you need. Let's go. Get to your tables. Think about it. Let's go. Only forward. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Only forward. OK, when it turns green, you go. Blazing speed. Go time. The hardest thing about this competition is that grab. I was writing football routes down. Like, all right, you two right. We're going straight up the gut. That's what this competition comes down to. Get those flavors. Mexican cuisine. I see the first protein, and I grab it. And I see the cow tongue literally bigger than my face. I'm like, what? What the heck am I supposed to do with the cow top? If you can reach it, you can grab it. If you can reach it, you can yes. grab it. OK, back to your stations. 45 minutes. Let's go. Matt, what do we got going on here? Ground brisket. OK. Like a spicy Mexican egg breakfast, brunch. Yes. Steak and yep. eggs Mexican style. Yep. OK. All right, Chris. OK, so you got the whole Cornish game hen. The whole Cornish game hen. All I right. got this guy that I believe is from Mole. Mole usually takes three days to make. Gotcha. So you got, got 40 that. minutes. Got it. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Make it happen. Maureen. I have crab meat, so I was thinking of making some sort of stacked tartare. So salsa, tostada, yeah. beautiful crab. Keep going. Perfect. Keep going. Thank I like you. it. OK, teeny, Ooh. you got? Cow tongue. It's anything but teeny. Anything but teeny. <laughs> There's always a gift that comes down to the basement. Filet mignon, lobster tail. Maybe sometimes it's beef tongue. OK, have you cooked with cow tongue before? I have not. I've never cooked with cow tongue, but you have to go outside the box. You have to go outside your comfort zone. It's called next level chef. It's not called next basic chef. I'm really here to learn. And my name's Tina Cup, but everyone calls me Teeny. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a social media chef. I was not the best student at all growing up. I was always getting in trouble, bad grades. But when I was 16, I was finally diagnosed with my learning disability, and then cooking came in, and everything changed from there. OK, so today I want to make this watermelon how I would steak. I started cooking on social media, just made a video of me cooking for my boyfriend, and it absolutely blew up, like 20 million views. And then I came out with my first cookbook called Cooking for My Boyfriend. They're all affordable recipes. But I just really want people to know it really does not matter where you come from. I don't come from much, but you can make it. That's what we say where I'm from. Small town, big dreams. Am I cooking yep. this like a steak, or? So you're just going to pull it, chop it up rough, warm it up in the pan Add and flavor. season it. OK. All right? Perfect. OK? Keep going. Thank I you. Like it. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Bring the heat. Let's Bring go. the heat. Let's get to that top kitchen. Ain't nobody going home today. It's conceptualized. It's going to come together. I was looking for tortilla shells, and the only thing that I could find were these corn husks. I'm having difficulty envisioning what I want. I'm out of my comfort zone right now. I'm Alex Marizio. I'm an intensive care unit doctor in South Beach, Miami. I am a home chef. Guys, let's do it. Guys, let's do it. I'm coming from a kitchen this big in South Beach and an electric stove. The base is an upgrade. <laughs> this to learn it how to cook. Boom. My passion for food comes from my upbringing. Italian roots from the Amalfi Coast. Watching mom and dad make a sauce on a Sunday, mwah, was heaven. My life as an intensive care unit doctor is very busy. It's very pressure packed. When I get home, there's no better escape than being in the kitchen. And whether it's through medicine or through food and cooking, both have led me to connect with people. It's a party tonight. My family said straight up, when you get there, don't up. But anyway, putting that aside, there's no place in the world I'd rather be.
Whoa. Alex, talk to me. What did you grab? I grabbed, I got swordfish. Guess I'm gonna have to wrap them in these and boil them? Corn husk. You don't really realize what you have until you go back and start sorting everything out. It's kind of like when you purchase things off of Amazon and you go back upstairs and you're like, is this what I bought? What did I get here? Right. And it's edible like this. No. no. Taste it, right? Okay. And then you'll know. I gotta be honest, I don't make Mexican food that often. I am sweating this challenge out. So we're not eating the husk. No. Ever. Ever. You tasted the husk, right? It's Thank just a vessel. You. Thank you, chef. Yeah. What am I gonna do with these corn husks? Oh my god. I think I'm in trouble. When are you planning to start cooking it? The swordfish? Yes. Now. Chef Arrington is pushing me to the max. You can bring the horse to the water, the horse has got to drink. <laughs> So at a certain point, as soon as she leaves me, I better start drinking. Water or tequila? More like tequila. Let's go, team. Bring it home. Where are we going? To the top level. Let's go. All day, baby. We are not going down the floor tonight. No, chef. No, we chef. are definitely staying on top, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Good. Right, uh, Vinny, what do you grab? I have a ribeye, chef. I'm going to vacuum seal this to get the flavors in, and I'm going to Make a nice little tomatillo. Bring the heat. I'm bringing the no, heat. It's going to heat. Thank you, Chef. Right, Tucker, tell me about the dish. What are you doing? Um, I have some roasted tomatillo salsa. I'm going to pickle little peppers. I'm going to get that in very soon. The chicken, that needs to rest. Remember the secret, nice and crispy. We should. that really nice and moist as well, yes? Yes, sir. Preston, flank steaks, is that what you wanted? Yes, Chef. Yeah? Tell me about the dish. Where are we going? Uh, so we're going to probably do like a chilaquiles. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to start making my spicy sauce right here. Smart. I'm going to do a cold smoked pickled onion Love on that. top as well. The inspection comes from where? Uh, so this is going to be from my grandma. Yeah, she was from Mexico. Uh, this has been something that she makes for us all the time at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, earlier this week, she did pass away. Okay, so this well, is I'm so sorry to hear that. She really just showed the whole family that love can be shown through your food. So this is dedicated I to her. That. And the last thing she told me before I came out to compete is cook from the heart, um, have fun, and just do your best. Um, and she believed in me. It's ever time to shine. TV tonight, yes? Yes, sir. Good luck, yeah? Thank you, chef. I'm Preston from Arlington, Texas. I'm a professional chef, and I'm 19 years old. A lot of people are always surprised about my age. I'm not even allowed to drink yet. My college presented me an opportunity for extra credit to go clean at a tournament called the World Food Championships. Then they said there was actually an open slot available for competitors. I was like, okay, like might as well like try it out. We actually ended up taking it all the way to the end and winning it. A living legend. I was extremely surprised to win. My alter ego would be Clark Kent versus Superman. Outside the kitchen, I'm a little shy, a little nerdy, but once I step inside of the kitchen, the gloves come off and I'm ready to throw down. Uh, right, Mark, tell me about the dish. What are you doing? I'm going to do a turkey taco and a little salsa. That turkey needs cooking, though, OK? It's yeah. a big thigh. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's more oil in there as well. Turkey's yeah, dry. Sure. Right, uh, young lady, tell me about the dish. What are we doing? I'm doing a caramelized pork belly, some brown sugar, a little bit of water. Right. I unfortunately did not grab a starch. No. But I no. am doing a scallion pancake tostada. Tostada. I'm feeling very stressed. I did not grab a starch, but I need to get out of my comfort zone and show them that I have what it takes to be next level. I'm Cassie. I'm from South Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm a social media chef, and I'm 28 years old. Straight out of college, I auditioned for the Brooklyn Nets, and I was with them two seasons. It really made me who I am today. I recently decided to pursue being a content creator. My Asian parents did not want to hear that. They did say, you know, in three months, if this isn't working out, then you really have to get another job. So I said, OK. And before three months was up, I gained 600,000 followers. Going to school, my mom would pack me lunches and she would make me Chinese food. I let kids kind of get into my head about like, oh, what is that, you know? But as I got older, like I just really started stepping into myself. Why wouldn't I be proud of my culture and my cuisine? I'm definitely a better cook than my mom now. She hates to hear it, she hates to admit it, but everyone knows it. All the flavors are there. Thank I you wish chef. you got a starch, but um, I good too. luck. Yeah. Yes, chef. The heat is on. Breathe, Cassandra. Cassie, she's chosen the pork belly, but she failed to grab a star, so she's making a scallion tostada. 
Right now, she's in trouble. My saving grace, Preston. Mexican cuisine is in his wheelhouse, and he's got a beautiful flank steak. 28 minutes to go, OK? All right, Daryl. OK, I have what, are, what are we doing? You got prawns? Uh -huh. okay. I'm going to make a pepper sauce cream. The sauce will be the base. Bring a little drama to the plate, basically. Please bring the drama to the plate, because I'm not seeing a lot of Mexican ingredients here. I'll be back, OK? okay. Let's go. I'm a little worried right now about Daryl because he didn't really grab like the you know, traditional Mexican pantry. He's got prawns, he's got canned olives. Tini has tongue. It's actually a gem of an ingredient once you get over the fact that it's a cow tongue. We have to get out of the bottom here because I cannot stand listening to Gordon making fun of you and Naisha's up there walking around thinking they just got everything made. We need to get out of the basement. Naisha! Richard! We're coming up there! We're on the way up! Okay. Okay. See you never. Only way is up, yes? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Hi, Chef. Hi, Shay. I want to make like a chicken carnitas situation. We love a chicken carnitas. Uh, How's your tortilla life having coming? Having trouble with my dough. Okay, let's get out of trouble. Let's get out of trouble. What do you have in your dough? It's chicken fat, okay. and butter, flour, water, and salt. I am using that chicken fat in the tortillas to infuse them with the chicken flavor. Pretty brilliant, if I do say so myself. Keep cooking. Bring the heat. Right, tell me. I'm Michelle, what you got? Crispy fish, spicy citrus broth. Yeah, smart, but just make sure that broth is packed with flavor. Yes. Uh, Michelle, don't go too early with that snapper. Chef Ramsey's telling me, hold on the fish. Don't cook it too early. I'm thinking, how much time do we have? What's going on? Being that I'm a home cook, and normally it's a very relaxing experience, it's just kind of overwhelming. I'm Michelle, I'm a senior brand marketing manager from New Jersey, and I'm a home cook. In an Italian-American household, cooking for someone is a love language. I met my husband in college. We've been together 11 years. My husband and I bought our first house exactly four minutes away from my parents. They'd be like, we came, we brought dinner, we're here. Now we're 12 minutes away. For me, cooking is a therapeutic experience. I have Frank Sinatra on, my wine glass, I am in my element. I want to see if I can hang with the big dogs in the kitchen. I would be lying if I didn't say I was scared. Come on, come on. Get some color in there as well, yeah? OK. And taste the seasoning as well, yes? Yes, Chef. Gently, 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 because you'll break it like that. I said don't go too early. Yes. That piece of fish took how long to cook? Three minutes. How long did you have in the challenge? 45. Right, so when should you put that on? Ten minutes before it, max. If you ignore that advice, you're going straight for elimination, OK? Yes, I chef. don't want you in there. Just, yeah, slow down a touch and listen, yes, OK? Chef. I tell you because I want you to work well and win this thing. Yes. OK? Yes. Let's go. As a home cook, I'm not used to the stress of the time constraint. Like, I cook with a glass of wine in my hand and music. It's always a very relaxing situation for me. I want to do really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh god, I'm like such a mess. <laughs> Every chef needs to adapt. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I need to see all of you adapt right now. Yes, chef, chef. Because it's time for the mid-round mayhem. Coming down shortly is a absolute staple in Mexican cuisine. Avocados, 10 seconds. Yes, let's, let's go, go guys. Grab lunch, grab the limes. What else is there? What else is there? Else is there? Anything else? Just avocado and lime? Stoked to see. I want got this. I can do something with that. Got him. Well done. Let's Good. go, baby. Extra lime, babe. This is the biggest avocado I've ever seen. I know. It... Guys, avocados. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Clearly, I love avocados. I manifested it today. Make sure you grab an avocado that you can use. Thanks. Uh, it's time for the mid-round. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 You got to grab ingredients. You got avocados. There's some lime over there. You got to use an avocado, though. Make sure it's ripe. Yes. Good job. OK. Oh, my Woo. god. Beautiful. All right, now, listen, we don't want to just see like a slice of avocado on a nope. plate. Bring nope. it into yeah. the dish. I was gonna fry it, or is that no? I mean, listen, I think you work it into this mango salsa. I'm fired up. I want to beat Gordon Ramsay. We're down a player on Team Blaze. Now, this is about getting the best dish that will get your team safety. 
to then cook on the top floor. Matt. That looks beautiful. Crispy. It looks good. Maybe just like another minute. All right, I'll take this one out. Talk to me. Chef, question. You need to organize yourself. OK. You need to slow down. You got this, OK? Just cook. Do you DC these? Did you taste it? You have to taste it. That's spicy. Pretty damn spicy. OK. Nori? Yes, Chef. My man, yes, Chef Stretch. Yes, Chef. Paint your dish picture for me. So I'm going to do the chicharrones uh, crumble with the fish skin. I'm going to plate the salsa on top of the fish. How is the avocado incorporated? I'm figuring that out, Chef. I'm thinking, I don't want to just do a mash, but I'm figuring it out, Chef. Hurry up. Yes, Chef. Hurry up. The intensity is high in this kitchen. Omi, I think that her flavors are going to be really delicious. I'm really impressed with Nori, Mr. Stretch over here. He's really bringing it. He seems focused. He has a vision. Having a little trouble with Alex, communication, I'm trying to help him, but there's just some sort of a block here. 11 minutes to go, guys, yeah? Cassie, what are you making there? What is that? I'm trying to make a quick caramel sauce. Yeah. I want to get the pork belly on before I throw this in, because I do not want this sugar to burn. Just don't get it too sweet, yeah? It didn't caramelize the way I want. Should I stick it back in the oven, Chef? Well, it needs to be a little more caramelized than that, otherwise it'll boil. Come on, let's go. Just Got making this. sure, Chef. I know, I know, but I want you to win. I yes, want you chef. to win. Come on, baby. Michelle, talk to me. Can you taste this sauce for me? Yeah, I just added a little sugar. It tastes a little sour. Yeah, I love that. Can you imagine that with a little bit of citrus in there as well? Exactly. It's lovely. Uh, Preston, yes, we're going to get some subs on that plate as well, OK? I love oh, the aesthetics, oh, but I want to see some proper food on there, yes? Yes, Chef. I want to win every challenge, but it's harder to stay on the top than it is to climb the top. I need to make sure my team produce some outstanding dishes, because that's what separates you from the competition. Got to lift this, yeah? We've got to stay at the top, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. We're not leaving, Chef. We're not leaving. We're going. But where are we going? Top level, Chef. That's what I'm talking top about. Level. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Right, next level let's dishes, go. next level plating. Let's go. Come on, Alex. Come on. Bring it home. Right Start now. thinking about your plates, guys. Winning dishes, right? This is ready for a menu in LA somewhere, OK? Don't hide me. Uh, let's go. Mexican cuisine. Bring the heat. Blazing heat. Blazing heat. Here we go. Two minutes. Daryl, what's up? No. Plating. Plate. Oh, plate. plates. Oh, plates. This is where we finish strong, yes? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Use a towel. Yes, Chef. Here we go. Put that down and work with two hands. Put the pan down. There you go. And yes, select chef. what you want. Select the best. Vinny, put it down. I don't want you to fall over with that thing, yes? There you go. The platform is on its way down. Platform's here. Daryl, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Matt, come on. You got a I long got way it. to go. I got it. Platform is here. That Last look. Beautiful. Cilantro, lime. This you got it? Sexy. Yeah. Got it? A little bit, yes. I think we did good. Come on, platform's coming, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Drive it home. I was first at a platform. I was like, I've had enough of this challenge. Let me just put my plate down. You guys are going to miss it. Let's go. Right now. Yes, chef. Right now. Put the plate on the platform now. Yes. Ah! Yes. Oh, my God. Guys, here chef. we go. Let's go, guys. You gotta go. Plate. 15 seconds. I'm Let's go. Far. Come on, hurry up. I'm on the far. 10 oh, seconds. You go further. For this, you go for this. Preston. Let's go. Five, four. Come on, Preston. Come on. Preston. You're gonna miss it. Preston. Come on, Preston. You gotta be. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. OK, well done, all of you. Uh, really good job. These dishes really do look Mexican. Shall we taste? Shall we start in the basement? All right, let's head on to the basement. We have here a uh, play off of a tostada with pomegranate seeds, crab, and uh, a mango salsa. This dish looks beautiful. But man, you take a bite and it absolutely wakes your palate up. Yeah, we told you to bring the heat. This dish definitely brings the heat. I can't believe I threw something together in that ugly ass kitchen and Gordon Ramsay said, this is amazing. <laughs> Over here we have seared prawns, deconstructed tostada with a peppercorn sauce. Dish feels a little bit sort of discombobulated. It doesn't feel like it's a real authentic take on the shrimp. Red flag for me. Totally. Either you can take the criticism or not. I'll take anything he gives. If I could marry Gordon Ramsay, I would. That's a joke now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Okay, over here we have Mexican-inspired breakfast of some ground brisket. I grew up eating ground beef tacos. You can tell the spices are all there, but you need to amplify them 10 times as much. Okay, over here we have the Cornish game hen roasted with some mole flavors. The color and the flavor and the crispiness, really good. Really, really delicious. All right, moving over here, we have a beef tongue sopes meets birria. I saw that beef tongue descend down, and I thank God none of us picked it up on the top floor, because that is a bitch to cook, let me tell you. But this is an absolute delight. The elegance shown, somewhat rare. I love the pickling of the cabbage, whoever cooked this thing, but they've absolutely nailed it. What happened in that basement tonight? Because you've got a bunch of great dishes. I think we got gifted some great ingredients. Man. Shall we go on to the middle floor? Wow, what do we have? We have a mahi-mahi with a duo of chicharron, both pork and fish skin, with a fresh pineapple salsa. It's really pretty. Mm, this dish is delicious. Love the salsa. It's crunch, it's fresh, it's really beautiful. I love it. Next up, we have a pozole-inspired dish. This person used the pork steak, chicharron crumble on top. Amazing how much flavor you got in there in 45 minutes. I love it. It's authentic, and it takes me straight back to Mexico. Next up, we have a seared swordfish, summer vegetables on top of a corn husk. Yeah, I mean, the only salt on this dish was the water that the swordfish was swimming in. And it just looks a bit weird, presentation-wise. I allowed one ingredient to completely throw me off for 45 minutes. Can't let that happen. Next up, we have the fish taco with an avocado crema. Touch more season again when you fry fish. Season before and after, really important. I wish it had a little bit more of the charred flavor that reminds me of Mexico. Next, this tri-tip has been seared. It has an avocado crema on a flour tortilla. Beautiful salsa. Great cook on the steak. Mm, a little too out of the box with the plating. So lastly, we have a handmade flour tortilla with a chicken, a play on carnitas. Um, whoever made that uh, heat's delicious, but I'm more impressed the fact that they made the fresh tortilla. That's hard in 45 minutes. Delicious. I would love a pina colada by the pool right now. So top floor, uh, a line chicken. Uh, this thing was beautifully cooked, and the avocado crema sauce around the outside. Look at the plating. This looks like it's from a restaurant in Mexico City. That sauce is so delicious. I would have just loved to see more of it on the plate. This is a pork belly with a sort of tostada, avocado crema. Pork was sous vide. Um, this is supposed to be a scallion pancake, and the pork sort of caramelized. Tastes a little bit like a dessert. It's so sweet. My heart is racing. There's so much sugar in there. Great shame. I got excited for the pancake, traditionally, but it wasn't done properly. I was trying to go out of the box, but clearly it didn't work for me. This was a marinated ribeye with a chile fried egg on top. Steak could have done with two minutes less. It's all about that sear. Let it rest. This. Turkey thigh that was cooked in the skillets, slowly basted, super doused with a lot of Mexican spice. You know, I think, do you think you gotta toast those shells a little bit more so that they're not as chewy? But I love the flavor here, I love the nostalgia. But this is a flank steak that was sous vide, beautifully seasoned, cooked in a skillet. Sauce is absolutely delicious. Yeah, listen, the flavors are there. Um, my big worry here is that it's a little bit sort of style of a substance. This is a red snapper, cooked skin side down and then finished with a broth underneath. Skin's a little soggy, fish is overcooked, but the agua chile, the broth, super flavorful. You can taste how dry it is. Yeah. I'm scared of the elimination. I know that I can do better than that, and I'm not ready to go home yet. We got a lot to discuss. We do. Uh, shall we? Excuse us. Some great highlights, by the way. I mean, beautiful highlights. Honestly, I had seen so many beautiful dishes out here. The Cornish hen, I mean, that dish was delicious. Cornish hen, delicious, and kind of also like fine dining looking. Absolutely. Yeah. Big shot for me today was the tongue. That was the one that I thought no one was going to pick up. Mm. No, so, so delicious. So brave. It's an amazing so ingredient. Gordon, your chicken, that chicken dish, yeah. I visually was the best dish for sure. But the cook was exceptional. Oh. I mean, really exceptional.
had a challenging time with Alex, that corn husk with the seared swordfish. Yeah, a bit like Michelle uh, with that red snapper. The fish was dry, but the broth was delicious. Yeah. My fish was dry as a bone. And Cassie, everything was just too sweet. It just wasn't an authentic Mexican dish. Tiger prawn, yeah. right? It didn't really make sense at all. Yeah. Plating hanging off the edge of the plate. I wonder oh, if he's yeah. actually never even had a tostada. I have to pick up this one, guys. That's tough. That's very tough. Let's get one thing clear. We have gone up a level, all of you. But only one dish stood out today that oozed authenticity. And that dish was... from Richard Blaze Kitchen. The tongue. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. We do not have to go into elimination. We're back where we started. It's just so, so exciting. I keep saying that word, but it's so exciting. <laughs> teeny, there was nothing teeny about that tongue or your performance. Congratulations. You can uh, head on over to the lounge, put your feet up, and you can watch the elimination cook. Let's go. Good job, Teeny. Now, unfortunately, we know what that means. Gordon, Naisha. Both of you have to choose one member of your team to head into the elimination cook-off. <sighs> Gordon? This is tough. I've got good dishes to miss the mark. The person I'm going to put into the cook-off is... The person I'm going to put into the cook-off Cassie. Everything's at stake at this point. I came in here thinking I have nothing to lose, but at this point, I feel like I have everything to lose. I'm good enough to be here, and I'm not going to give up. This dish missed the mark. It doesn't feel authentic. I know you can do better. Yes, Chef. Prove it. Yes, Chef. Naisha, who will you be putting into the elimination? The person that's going to go into the elimination today it's Alex. You let one ingredient throw your entire performance off. Cook like you want to be here. 100%. Cassie, Alex, right now you're headed to the elimination cook-off, where only one of you will survive to cook another day. So we're going to give you another chance to redeem yourselves with a staple of every Mexican kitchen, corn. On that elimination platform, will be two beautiful bone-in pork chops and a variety of corn. Be inspired. This is your one chance to save yourself. You two can stay here. The rest of your teammates, you can head on over to the elevator. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. Cook your best dish. 30 minutes to keep yourself in the competition and make sure you don't send your entire team down to the basement, OK? Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. All right, both of you, I'll be with you in the kitchen. And Gordon and Naisha will join us after you're done cooking. Off to the elevators, and I'll see you shortly. Come on, Cassie. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Alex. You got this. <sighs> Good luck. Same to you. I'm ready to fight for my place. I don't like to lose. I, I mean, I know nobody likes to lose, but I like really don't like to lose. You got this. You got this. Let's go. Strengthen numbers, baby. Strengthen numbers. The last place that I want to be right now is this elimination. I do not want to go home. Okay, how are we doing, everyone? Good? Cassie, how are you feeling? Chef. Confident, Chef. I like to hear it. I like to hear it. Dr. Alex, is this like when you're heading into surgery? Similar feeling. I am an intensive care unit doctor. Pressure is a part of my daily life. 
Heartbeat still at 60, ready to go, ready to cook. Okay, remember we have to do 30 minutes to cook a corn-inspired dish. You want that corn to be featured, okay? Yes, chef. Don't hold anything back. Yes, yes chef. chef. My dad growing up was always so excited about corn. Hands on the elevator. Anytime we had corn in the house and he came home to eat, he would say, corn, corn, corn. So no doubt about it, I'm bringing my dad with me into this challenge. When the light's green, you can go. It's go time. Let's go, Alex. Let's go, Cassie. We got 30 minutes. All right, remember the platform's not going anywhere, okay? Let's start cooking something, okay? Yes, chef. All right, Alex, what do we got going on over here? Corn three ways, chef. So All right. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna okay. roast one of these corns right over there. Do saute a little bit of corn, make cream of corn. Okay. And then blend that, and then okay. I'm gonna do succotash. I never even heard of a succotash. I'm like, what is a sucka who? Alex looks confident. We got this in the bag. Like, he's not going home today. All right, Cassie, what are we thinking about here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shallot corn butter so okay. I can finish a veggie in there. Right, okay. Do you like that? I like that. I know Cassie's gonna crush this, so I am not concerned, but also a little bit concerned. Five minutes are gone. Five minutes are gone. That's okay. Cassie, what are we doing with the pork? Hopefully there's some okay. cornmeal on there. Right. I'm gonna uh, dredge it and I'm gonna fry it. I need to do what I do best, which is just cook and have fun with it. I know that once I'm tense, once I put pressure on myself, that's when I crack. Hey! Hey! hey. That's, that, that's what I'm talking about. When you're seasoning, when you're seasoning, you're seasoning the meat. Yeah. Right. Okay, there you go. Okay. Let's go. Alex, how are you gonna cook the pork? The pork, I'm gonna pan sear it. You're right gonna now. pan sear it? Okay, yeah, right it's now. seasoned, yeah? Yes, sir. $250,000 and a one year mentorship is on the line. The sizzle, you got a loud sizzle? We're going. You should hear that. I don't hear that. Pull that, it's not ready to go. This was not what I was looking for. I need a nice sear in that cast iron pan. I mean, it's not hot enough, no, I mean, it's not hot enough. Take it off. 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 Yeah, it's gotta get hot. What am I doing right now? Yeah. Come on. But yeah, it's sizzling, it's sizzling. Let me go, Let me go. Let's go, baby! That's the cooking gods, baby! I do have grace under pressure, and I do enjoy pressure. That is money, buddy. Mm -hmm. Take Beautiful. that off. Take it off. We're done. A little bit. Done. 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 Turn it off. I friggin' love them. I'm gonna make a purple cauliflower puree with some corn in it as well. You're gonna put purple cauliflower in the cream and it's gonna turn gray. I mean, you, you do what you wanna do, right? But I, it's a corn challenge. 10 minutes to go. Make sure you taste as you go. Mud. Yeah! That's a face. You know, I feel quite calm. I'm doing my game, and the truth is, I'm the same way in the hospital. Should I add some cauliflower this to this? But like last second, last second. Keep the corn fresh and vibrant, right? Doing great, man. Right? Let's go, baby. Okay, we're coming down to the last. Nice One minute left. One room. minute left. That's nice. Don't put too much. Don't put too much. Salt, pepper. Let's, let's move. Okay. Let's move. Take the bacon off. It's a corn challenge. Let the corn shine. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Have you we're tasted divided. everything? Okay. Chef. Alex, have you tasted everything? I've tasted everything. Okay. Chef. Yes, chef. This is a dish that's going to save your life oh, in this competition. Yo. My heart and soul was on that dish. I probably got a little bit corn excited. I think my dad is still in the back of my head screaming, corn, corn, corn. Naisha, Gordon, this was intense. I mean, this morning we were talking about cooking with heart and soul, and both of these chefs truly cooked with heart and soul. Let's start with the pan-roasted pork chop and corn four ways. So four ways, cream, succotash, succotash charred corn, uh, baby corn salad. Whoever cooked this, there's a great sear on that pork chop. All the fats rendered down nicely. Wow. The cook is beautiful. It's gorgeous. The seasoning on the pork, delicious. Sadly for me, this corn with the cream is under seasoned. For me, I see two different concepts at play on one plate, succotash and cream corn. Maybe choose one lane and just really execute that one vision really well. The second dish, 
we have a cornmeal crusted pan roasted pork chop with a brown butter corn puree and a corn and lime salad, as well as some purple cauliflower. Great use of corn. I'm not a pork chop master. I don't cook pork chop a lot, so I'm kind of nervous. Let's do some of this dripping. Nailed it. Service, it's survey nailed says it. yes. It's nailed perfect. It. Amazing echoing of flavors happening. Beautiful textures coming off of fresh corn and also pureed corn. The garnish itself is a little bit overkill. Don't need it. I love the actual cream corn underneath. That purple cauliflower just needs a little bit lift. It's watery, so it just needs seasoning. But the pork is nailed, so it's a tough one. Two good dishes. I could be seconds away from sending my own chef home tonight, which would be a disaster. It's the tough part of the job now. Naisha, which dish would you eliminate? I think one dish drove home the theme of this to elevate corn in a few ways. But which dish would I eliminate? The pork chop with the succotash is the dish I'm eliminating tonight. Gordon? Corn is in abundance across both plates. But one of these dishes is just too overcomplicated. I'm going to eliminate the pork chop with the succotash. Unfortunately, the pork with the succotash was cooked by Alex. Oh, he's going home. No! <sighs> Alex, you will not be our next level chef. Ah, this hurts. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I mean, don't let anybody tell you any different. And as jovial and energetic as I am, I'm a competitive SOB. Alex, what I saw from you today, and you have that doctor's touch for sure. Thank it's you. commendable. It takes a lot of guts to come on Next Level Chef and compete. He put himself to the test here. He willingly came to these kitchens to put food in front of Richard Blaze, Gordon Ramsay, and myself, because he loves it. That's beautiful. I leave nothing behind. This is one of the greatest memories of my lifetime, and I'm just, I'm so grateful for all of it. You gotta be crazy not to want to do this. Cassie, congratulations. How are you Thank feeling? Thank you so much, Chef. I'm just really happy to not let you down. I have so many emotions. I don't know what to feel, but all I know is can't keep a bad bitch down too long. <laughs> now, this next challenge may seem simple, but it's the most difficult on the planet to pull off. Good night. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Thank, Thank you. Good job. Thank Thank you. Next time on Next Level Chef. Hello, beautiful. Today, you'll all be creating a Next Level Sandwich. Yeah. What is a Next Level Sandwich? I don't know. I feel a little complacency because it's sandwiches. There's not a lot of time. I'm just screwing this all up. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? If you're a shark, you're going to swim. If you're a fish, you're going to get ate. And I'm a shark. <laughs> Come on, guys. I want to win this. I want to win. Come on. <laughs>